This is Spanish rice, so that yeah. is like onion, onion, garlic, garlic bacon, bacon. And two strips of bacon sliced down the middle, and then and then cilantro, cilantro which was about a handful, yeah, about a handful. salt, pepper, mm -hmm. uh, onion, onion powder, garlic, garlic powder, powder, and then cumin, yeah. which you had to crush because it was in seeds, not in a powder right. form. And you need to buy yourself a box of this. What is that? It, it is. Sazon. It's in the Goya, by Goya. It's in the Mexican yeah. herb aisle. You'll okay. see this like at your Walmart. Okay. For sure. Alright. Sazon. And one package of these. Let me look at that again. And then this. Mm -hmm. So, are, what's next? Do you saute this all yes, together? Yes, we'll saute it first. Okay. Okay. And then when you get your rice, because we're going to make it through. All right. When I'm making it for more people, I usually use That's long grain rice, I think. This one I use is basmati rice because it's not as sticky and it's easier to cook with. All right. Basmati? It's Indian rice. Oh, it's Indian rice. Okay. All right. And they sell it everywhere. Okay, that's the start. Excellent. And it's All right. So she's going to heat up the pan. Heat up the pan. All right, and then what's next? Olive oil. Olive oil. What kind of olive oil is that? It's a virgin. Okay. Okay. Here comes the olive oil. Not that much. Nothing's measured, man. You're eyeing everything. <laughs> that's no. That's no problem, though. Yeah. I can see how much You're that is. You're not making tacos, so it's not gonna yeah. be like a deep bowl of oil. All right. Oregano leaves? Yeah. Exactly. That goes in here or in there? It's going to all go together. These oh, are okay. Spices. These are all your spices. Okay. And then these are your ingredients. All right. And then we're going to wash the rice. You've got to rinse the rice. Rinse the rice first. Because it's starchy. All right. I don't think I ever rinsed the rice. <laughs> <laughs> it gets mushy and sticky. All right. So you're going to do, you're going to make a a serving for everybody, so that's going to be how many cups? I'm going to make three cups. Three cups, because that's just for, it's a big serving today. Yeah. All right. All right. Three cups of rice. Come over here. And we just add water. Push it around. All right. You see how the white, the water turns white? Yeah. That's the starch. Okay. You don't want that. Okay. Oh, that's boiling already. Okay, now I'm going to throw in the ingredients. So that's it. You just rinse it and then you just... Do it a couple times. Okay. I don't know what's it's in boiling. here. Is it boiling? That's yeah. Getting hot. That's still getting hot. All right. Okay. I'm going to rinse it at least three times. And it's always good to like just take your hand and just kind of swirl it around. Okay. Clean it all. See still how white it is? Yeah. And I put my hand under here just to catch any rice. You may right. drop a few, it's no big deal. Alright. When it gets towards the end. And if you have a, a tight strainer, you can do it at home with a strainer. Yeah. Like this one. If you have the, do you have something like this? No. That rice would literally fall through with what I have, so. Okay. I'd literally never do that. You need to do this. Yeah. Because then you're, it just gets sticky. Yeah. Okay. All right. Just kind of slide it back. And... Looking good. That's ready. All right. Now that the oil's getting hot, this is what you do. You prep yourself so you're ready to go. All right. Okay. See how the oil is.
Hot tomatoes, a Mexican hot tomato sauce. Okay, got and it. You don't need the whole can. So. How much are you going to use on that? Probably about a quarter. That's it? For that big pot of rice? Yeah. Okay. Because you have this and you're going to have water. Okay. So if you add too much tomato sauce, it gets sticky. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. So she added a whole pack of this, right? Mixed it up. That's good. A quarter can of the tomato sauce. Quarter can of the tomato sauce. Yeah. Oh my god, it smells good. Oh, now the rice goes in. So you're not going to like boil the rice first? Nope, nope, nope. You, no, no, no. you, got, you want the rice to cook a little bit in the tomato sauce and your spices. Because then it absorbs the flavor. Oh. So this is raw rice, just this so... Raw rice. Okay, okay. Yeah. And bacon. Mm -hmm. Let that cook a little bit. All right. Before you do everything else. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to so, add some. What's the first thing you're going to add I'm here? I'm going to add garlic. I'm going to do it again. Just like that. Got it. Just like the center ball of your hand. Yeah. If it feels like it doesn't, it isn't enough. You add a little more. All right. Okay. And you do the same amounts. That's onion, right? Onion, onion powder. powder. See, same amount. Got it. Okay. Oregano. Oregano. Same thing. It's the perfect measure because you can. It's never too much. And I can stir it. So now we're gonna add some water. And then we'll add some salt. Okay. All right. How much water are you putting in there? It's usually, if you add three cups of water of rice, you're yeah. usually about three cups of water, two and a half to three cups of water, but because I can eyeball it. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like a half a cup less than what your amount of rice is. Okay. Typically. Okay. You see how it's red? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the color is really red. To be at least to like the first knuckle on your finger. What's that? The water level. Oh, okay. The first knuckle. Perfect. Oh, where you mean where the rice is and where the water yeah. is? Okay. Man, that smells good. Oh, salt's over it's here. Over there, but I wanted to show you when you measure for your salt for the rice. Yeah. Same thing. A little pinch like this. All right. Because the sasson has salt. Oh, does it? But it doesn't have a lot. So you just kind of gauge it. And then you can see if you need to add a little bit more water. That's why, because the rice was cooking a little bit. Yeah. You want, oh, you want me to taste it? Taste it for salt. Tell me what you think. Does it need more salt? Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. 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 I want it to, but I just want the stove because the rice is different. You want to bring it to a simmer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Remember I told you it's like the first knuckle? Yeah. First knuckle. Yeah. yeah. A lot of rice and it absorbs salt. Okay. That's why I go little bits at a time. Yeah. Still a little more? Little bounces like that. Okay? Yeah. Shaker, if you're learning, yeah, and that's one of the things that Nana told me little bunches in the palm. Oh, okay, and then you can gradually add more, but you can't take it out if you add too much, yeah. Okay. What do you think? It's better, probably add a little bit more. Oh, that's good, you like it, yeah. Yeah. You can get like a chili, cut half a chili, yeah. without all the seeds, and chop it real fine and throw it in there. It'll make it spicy. Okay. If you want it if hot. If you want it hot. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we're just going to let it boil. It's now starting to simmer. Yeah. Let it simmer just a little bit heavier. Are you going to cover it or leave it be? Gonna, I got to watch it simmer. I want the whole thing to really come to a good boil like a low like a high simmer yeah and then what we're gonna do I put foil on top of my pan and the lid because then it keeps all the steam inside okay because if you some most lids have like little holes in them now for yeah protein, and that's not good for rice okay oh Wait, you think it has enough seasoning oh yeah yeah definitely Now you need the, you're going to put the foil on next? Yep. Okay, I'm going to... Let it come to a little too much tomato, like pan salsa, uh, tomato sauce. Yeah. It makes it mushy. Yeah. You want it mushy. You want it fluffy. All right. What's that? I'm filming Ray, I'm filming rice. her, show me how to make Spanish rice. Oh. <laughs> Does she know how? <laughs> Dad, Dad's funny without trying to be funny. <laughs> oh, it's boiling pretty heavy now. Okay. Yeah. Over the lid. Mm -hmm. okay. So you still have the heat up pretty good. Yeah, I'm turning it down to low now. Okay. About two on gas stove. And then how long is that gonna stay there? Minutes. How long? Twenty five minutes. Twenty five minutes. minutes. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm gonna. I can pause now. Okay. All right. You put that in. Twenty five minutes. It's a lot of rice. If it's one little pot, yeah. You don't need to cook it more than twenty minutes. Okay. So there it is. Oh yeah. And that's perfect. Look, it's not soupy or anything. And it smells delicious. So that's ready to eat. That's ready to eat. That's not bad. I think that's about 30 minutes to prepare maybe. I'm gonna taste it right now. Are you ready for this? Oh wow. That's a little good. Mm -mm. Oh, perfect. Oh, you did it. Spanish rice. You did it. Yeah, that's my first one. So we're going to use what? Show me those beans really quick. What are those beans we're going to use? Goya pinto beans. And they're already made. They're already made. All right. And so you're going to add what for, to it? We're going to saute that stuff over there. Oh, just like the rice. Just like the rice. So the olive oil again. Okay. Right here for you. 
All right. You have your little bit of your bacon, your onion, your garlic, and you're going to saute it in that. All right. So that was like maybe a quarter slice of an onion. And then that was one or two slices of bacon. One slice of bacon. Yeah, and then chopped it up. And then one clove of garlic. We're going to use this olive oil here. And then what do we got here? Oh, oregano. You think so? Yeah. At least two? Oh, maybe you're right. So it was three cloves of garlic, huh? Or was it three or two? Or It was two big ones. Two big ones, two big okay. Ones. I didn't use the third one. You saw me pull three yeah. out. Garlic and then this stuff again. <laughs> Which I can't pronounce. Is it the sasson? sasson. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to go in there. All right. And again with this, with the, with the cumin. Okay. Okay. This is going to take the beans to the next level. All right. <laughs> oh, pepper as well. That's everything. Otherwise, your beans will suck. <laughs> and onion powder. Okay. Make it easier for you by using a Oh, I like that. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want, Lulu? Do you want to learn too? That's everything. All right, perfect. There it goes. Um, I told him we will be eating around three. He can come anytime. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. This is the onion powder. Onion powder. Palm. All right. Drop it. Palm. Yep. It's already sizzling away, man. Fast. And um, if you don't have time to roll them, you don't have to. But I like to roll them because it brings more flavor out. But you already started this. That's the cumin seed. This is the seed. The seed. Cumin seeds are better tasting than cumin powder. Yeah. Because if they get the full potency of the spice. Oh, got it. Okay. Nice. Okay. It already smells good before there's actually food in it. You know what I mean? And then you're only going to add like maybe a quarter of the sesame. Okay. Pack it. You don't need that much this time because you're just making it part of it. Alright. Okay. So like a little tiny compost. Okay. Okay. Now we have Alright. Then. Are you going to drain those beans or is I that... I did already. Oh, you already did? I drained like, the, like almost half the juice out. Half the juice, okay. Oh, that we use for the rice, okay. All right. Yeah, definitely smell it. Yeah. Just let them boil up a little bit. Stir all your spices. 
spices in that you did. Yep. And tomato sauce. Looks good, man. Mm -hmm. How long are you gonna let that sit there? I let it come to like a boil. Yeah. And then um, you can cover it and put it in the pot in the oven. Yeah. Keep it warm. Yeah. Cause you're not really cooking it. No. No. You're just seasoning. It. Okay. And like if you let it come to a boil. Yeah. All the spices and everything goes into the beans. Okay. So it cooks into the beans. All right. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, that really changes the flavor of it, huh? All the stuff you put in there? Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Rice will complement, or the beans complement? The rice. rice. There's your rice. There's the bean. There's the beans. Excellent. All right. I can do that. All right. Okay. And uh, this is mashed potatoes. That's a whole different That's thing. All right. I got it. At first it was hard, nobody believed me. Ever since then, I'm making it clear. This my year. This my year. I hustle in the dark with a bright my head. Get the bright idea.